Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I was going to invite you to join me on my journey out in DC. I'm going to grab a couple bites to eat, go over some of the things I purchased at Nordstrom Rack yesterday and maybe do some exploring and planning in my home in two weeks. So if that sounds good to you, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before we get right into it, I did want to take one moment to thank you so very much for joining me today. And as always, if you enjoy this video and enjoy my videos in general, I would so very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. Alright, let's go! Alrighty friends, here's to the stationary planning part. So it's been a hell of a day, I'm really tired. I am, work just ended, and I'm hoping to catch some good lighting. Um, and yeah, so if you recall, I think I did film this, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I took this Simply Gilded, like beautiful, um, I don't know, what do you call this? The sheen on this, I'm not really sure. Can't remember, it's escaping my mind right now. But I took this little pouch that I got from a mystery grab bag from Simply Gilded, and I stuffed it with a bunch of, I guess, um, cards from Archer and Olive, such as these here, so I can write notes and letters to my friends while I'm here. Um, I'm also thinking about buying some postcards like a tourist, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I am missing my husband very much, so today I will be writing a card to my husband. This works out well because it's actually not pre-stamped. Um, I actually picked up this beautiful little card from Papyrus when they went out of business just before COVID. Um, and I remember very, vividly that I went multiple times with different friends to buy some of their cards during the closeout sale and uh, this sweet sweet man um, he was actually sick so hopefully he's okay he was very very sick um, when we because I went to the store so many times and uh, so hopefully he, he made it through COVID I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was COVID at the time um, but this card says believe in love everlasting and it's like this beautiful gold foiling of course of course if you remember papyrus it had like really high quality cards and i probably got this for i don't know like two ten cents sorry not two cents and then a match matching envelope so i did order some fountain ink that i will probably unbox today and load up into my pilot vanishing point pen but for now i have my caveco sport mini uh, with the EF nib in mint green with the Atramentis Archive ink in black. That's what I'm going to use to write a little note to my husband and send it off.
for this to dry. I just wanted to share like how easy this was. I thought of it and didn't realize how great of an idea it would be. Um, and I'm so glad that I did this. It really gave me a way to focus the, I guess, sadness and energy that I have um, missing my husband into something positive, something that hopefully he'll enjoy receiving. Also in my little kit, I have some stamps. I think they're summer stamps. I have to find them. I want to share with you, share them with you because they smell very, very good. Let's see if I can get them out here. So these are some of the other cards that I brought with me. These were pre-stamped with my dress. Ah, here it is. So I also brought a bunch of like fun die cuts that I hauled off Amazon. So I'll see if I can include that in the description if you're interested. But these are scratch and sniff stamps. So I wish I actually, I apologize for that. This is like the beauty, I guess, of living in a city, in the middle of the city. So these are scratch and sniff and I bought them, oh my goodness, probably like four years ago during the summer when I was working in Manhattan at the post office. I wasn't working at the post office, but anyways. And they still smell. Like it was like a limited edition. So if you guys ever see this available again at the post office, please, please feel free to share with all of us in the comment section down below because I would love to get more of these. Um, actually, I'm running out. And then these are those stickers. And then I wanted to show you those cards again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's, people are always yelling, sirens are always going off. One of my friends asked me on the phone, she was like, are you sure you're not near a, um, a station? And I'm not, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is kind of take one of these. I'm not gonna use the Beachaholic one. I think I'm gonna use this one because this is really funny. It'll probably make him laugh. And use it to kind of close up the envelope like that. And I think we'll be all set to go. this brings a smile to his face. Share with you some of my newly hauled items for my Hobonichi weeks for 2022. So if you're interested in watching me load up my Pilot Vanishing Point pen with this ombre urban blotting, sorry, urban fountain ink, as well as a quick plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks, please stick around. Thanks everyone. All right, so the first item that I picked up is this Midori cafe themed sticker sheet from Jenny Beck. And I may or may not have covered this in a previous video, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it in this for a lot cheaper on Jet Pen. I paid $4 at Jenny Beck in Washington DC in DuPont Circle. So just fair warning, um, I was there picking up a birthday gift for one of my dear friends, Carly and fell in love with this coffee themed sticker sheet that I will be happy to use and think is perfectly sized for my Hobonichi weeks. The next thing I have is this ombre urban um, fountain ink that was recommended by one of their associates. I actually picked this up off Amazon, the 30 mil, and uh, it's supposedly made in France. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think it's like a orangish, brownish yellow. As you can see here, which of course, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been absolutely loving. Just recently I picked up a egg crate or egg carton um, in this color. So I hope that it, I'm actually really curious to see what it looks like. I tested it out in the store um, and I'm curious to see what it looks like with the EF nib. All right, so let's get to loading up my fountain pen and start planning. Alrighty, let's see if we can plan around this camera here. So I think I've charged up my ink, but just to double check, I'm going to waste my post-it here to kind of use it as a writing surface. It's definitely a lot lighter than I was expecting, um, but let's see how it actually shows up here. So I'm gonna go back to the back of my Hobonichi and try it out on my pen test page. Random one of them. 
Ooh, look how beautiful that is. That is just, oh, I'm in love already. Can you see that there? The coloring is probably not great because of the lighting, so I do apologize for that. Um, but I should be home very shortly. Not really that shortly. All right, so we do need to update this week here that is been closed out. I did cover it um, in a previous video, like a flip through, so I'll try to kind of speed through it, but this will help you see what process I typically go through for updating my spreads after I've already set it up. So I use my little full nose clip here from Amazon that I'll leave in the description box down, doc, hmm, this description box down below. Went to the rack. I didn't go to the yarn store. I did film my coffee trips. I just didn't upload it. I haven't sent the postcards, but I will. And I did go to the farmer's market. I just didn't buy anything. Uh, meet property manager. I actually didn't do that. That got canceled and it was not my fault. Um, let's see. I think that that, hmm. I actually wonder, I don't know where my Hobonichi basic stencil is and that is a must for me. So let me see if I can find it here. It's kind of awkward because the angle's awkward. And I also, yes, here you go. I had it in my Hobonichi weeks to work. And I have the camera in front of me. Plus I'm hooked up to a camera with um, a lavalier, like a microphone wire. So, all right, so that was cool. I don't like that this is like folding up here. That's really troubling me. This is what troubles me and keeps me up at night. And now I just ripped my page. I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's Black, Ocean City, Baltimore. Um, trying to think. You know what, I'm gonna leave it for now. This is pretty good. I don't really need to add much else. Um, this is, this was Carly's birthday, so I do wanna include that there. I don't really know why I didn't write that in. So I'm gonna go over here and secure that. Get my pencil and my Tombow hard tip calligraphy pen here and just write that in with a camera in the way. <laughs> So sometimes I like to draw a guideline here with my pencil. just because it's very, it didn't fit and also it has, yes, okay. And then I also want to strike through meeting with the property manager because that obviously didn't happen. So I'm gonna go here, use my uni jet stream and just use my old school bullet journaling method, bullet journaling method where I strike through. And actually she basically stood me up and gave me the option to reschedge and I didn't, so that happened. That was really fun. But that's okay. And we had a wonderful weekend with our friends. So let's see. Here on this day, we went to LP and then in Ocean City. I think I'm trying to remember what day we met up with Suze, but I really can't. And then this day, we went to Astoria. a very interesting restaurant it was like tapas for Chinese food <laughs> which is interesting because typically when you say that you think uh, dim sum but it wasn't so that happened I can definitely use some of these stickers to mark the days I went and got coffee so oops this came out <laughs> it's not what I intended to do all right so what days did I get coffee? I basically got coffee every day. These are so cute. I just love it. They're like kind of hand drawn. Can you see that? Um, I'll probably keep this backing. So, so cute. Went to Tate. And I want to fill this space here because it's so empty. 
Um, I think I will pick a yellow coffee mug and see if I can plop her down like right there. Ooh, looks so cute. All right, so I'm trying to remember, this was my first day, so I did go to Tate that day, which means my second day I went to Firehook. Oops, excuse me. So I'm gonna write that down here. I love their um, cheese danish, that was so good. The coffee was okay. That's how I felt about that. <laughs> and then I went to Whole Foods here, so I can write that in with my Caveco Sport. Where did I put her? But instead, actually, let me try out this bad boy. All right, so I went to Whole Foods. Which day? I think I actually went this day. Ooh. 